Assalamu alaikum. Um, sabse pehle to welcome everyone. Uh, welcome to the work group meeting for COVID-19 initiative. Um, well, let's start. I believe everybody's here who was supposed to be here. And uh, today's meeting, uh, thodi si choti hogi as usual. I, uh, if you can see, I'm two hours ka time book kiya tha, but uh, uh, it's a kickoff. And since we haven't gone public yet, so this is going to be a bit short right now. So the, uh, what's going to happen is that we will start word spread karna shuru initiative ke bare mein publicly. So more people hopefully will more, uh, join in. And then, uh, of course, that, that would be more like helpful. Um, okay, let's, let's start. So um, agenda. Uh, getting up to speed with the previous events that have happened. And uh, like I said, a uh, public call of action that we are all part of right now. And of course, uh, when we're going to make it public and all. Besides that, uh, uh, teams uh, and roles framework, okay, how things are going to actually happen. And then um, uh, tentative architecture, what exactly are we going to build? What kind of solution we are looking forward to? or uh, tech stack, which uh, okay, technologies use karenge, it will help you figure out that you can contribute kar sakne. Or uh, uske alawa, uh, tentative roadmap, that we time we expect that we will have something visible in uh, It's tentative because things are not so clear based on the skills and competencies of people in the team. And of course, uh, uh, based on what are we going to build, uh, the use cases, how many are we going to tackle. Things might change a little bit over time, but uh, eventually it's uh, the, the end game is, is pretty solid. Uh, besides that, uh, something about self-organization and the challenges. So uh, like I said, this meeting is going to be a bit shorter than the future ones. Uh, so without any further delays, let's dig in. Um, but uh, before we jump into the initiative and all the other stuff uh, for people who don't know me and who don't know about trust pakistan so just a small uh, like a brief introduction about me and uh, about trustnet pakistan uh, mera naam umar hai umar shafiq aur main uh, finland mein ek nordic company hai tieto every uske liye kaam karta hu i'm a consultant for them a uh, blockchain consultant aur main pichle 3 saal se blockchain industry mein decentralized identity ki space mein kaam kar raha hu self sovereign identity space mein aur uh, i guess uh, around like around 4 5 months pehle i i thought about doing something about uh, it in pakistan and i started trustnet pakistan which is actually uh, a foundation uh, a non profit organization that's going to help pakistani community to build uh, a blockchain based decentralized solutions around digital identity in pakistan sounds fancy uh, but uh, if you drill it down into small pieces, it's very simple. The thing is that Pakistan mein digital identity ke current solutions or uh, jo, even jo currently undergoing solutions, hai, they are not uh, good enough in my opinion and, 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 and in opinion of a lot of other people all across the world. Because uh, the identity has changed a lot and is changing a lot and we're stuck with the, um, we're stuck with very old models. Um, to understand what I'm trying to say, I would suggest you watch our webinar video, uh, which we did with the Pakistan Blockchain Institute and Hyperledger, uh, I guess, a few weeks ago. I'll, I'll tell you about that more in a while. But uh, uh, just to remember about uh, Trustnet Pakistan, if you want to remember something, think about it. There are three key sectors in Trustnet Pakistan that is self sovereign identity community the trustees network and consortium of organizations in which uh, basically let's say key sector one organizations hamare sath judengi aur hum unhe help karenge cross industry solutions explore karne mein aur build karne mein hamari ek self sovereign identity community hai jisme jiska aap part hai is waqt and we will do some things make some proof of concepts contribute back to the community do some good and of course uh, meanwhile also uh, tell people uh, about uh, self-sovereign identity, educate them, and of course, make trainings and uh, workshops and uh, like uh, webinars and all that. 
and trustees network is all about uh, bringing digital trust to uh, back in the world where as right now there is none um, so trustees network is are the group of people that will be associated with pakistan trust, trustnet pakistan and they will have these uh, uh, like they will be these accredited people jo uh, jinka portfolio will speak for themselves and uh, they they will be supporting trustnet pakistan's uh, self sovereign identity initiative and idea uh, so getting up to speed um, if you don't know anything about self sovereign identity or blockchain based digital identity what i would recommend is to uh, go and watch our webinar it's 2 hours i know it's a bit long but it's it's quite interesting you can always uh, uh, maybe skip some parts based on what you are interested in in there uh, like if you are interested in the business part then then the last half hour or one hour is very interesting for that if you are interested in tech part then first uh, uh, 30 minutes to 40 minutes are very interesting for that so uh, i would recommend if you want to know exactly what technologies and what kind of things are we going to use uh, take your time and watch this webinar we'll give you the link later on uh, all right um so the question is why are we doing this and that is that it's it's very clear ke world jo hai wo abhi ek situation mein aur baad mein ek situation hogi jab corona chala jayega that's because nothing stays forever right so there will be a pre and post covid world and digital trust plays an important role underneath all of this and you can see it by this that uh, different countries and uh, different organizations have done different things about it uh, for example bill gates uh, made a comment about that we need digital certificates to prove uh, who have received a vaccination or prove the health status is so even bill gates think that we need to do something regarding digital certificates and who have received them we need to prove that and uh, currently uae is also doing some work in that area unhone apne sare documents jo hai unko digitally verify karna shuru kar diya using blockchains and then china has been doing some work in there where they have figured out a way to uh, build a blockchain that can used to that can be used to uh, verify if the patients have covid-19 or not or uh, or they and and for also tracking them as well uh, that if some people have been get get in contact with other Uh, infected patients or infected people so uh, there are a lot of use cases and a lot of uh, uh, like things that are happening right now in the world so my point here is that why not in pakistan what is there ke why cannot we do this and me being um, in the field in the industry especially with the digital identity space i thought it is time to do something about it and that's why i i, I started the trustnet pakistan and then of course later on this covid-19 initiative so the covid initiative covid-19 initiative uh, for trustnet pakistan is is just an effort ke hum scalable digital solutions build kar sake jo ke covid-19 ke jo problems hai pakistan mein unko resolve kar sake aur basically ye problems wo problems honge jo digital trust ke around revolve karti hain Uh, वो प्रॉब्लम्स क्या होंगी उन पर हम uh, पहले बात कर चुके हैं हमारी एक प्रीवियस कॉल में देर आर सर्टन यूज केसेस विच आर वेरी कॉमन ऑल ओवर द ग्लोब इन द वर्ल्ड और दुनिया उन पर काम कर रही है और हमारा प्लान ये है कि हम भी उन उनमें से ही जो हमारे कंट्री uh, के लाभ से फिट हो रहे होंगे उन उन यूज केसेस पे हम काम करेंगे ट्रस्टनेट पाकिस्तान ऑलरेडी एक ग्लोबल इनिशियटिव का पार्ट है जिसका नाम है एवरी नम्स क्रिडेंशियल इनिशियटिव बेसिकली एवरी नम वो कंपनी है जिन्होंने डिजिटल आइडेंटिटी का सबसे बड़ा नेटवर्क बनाया अभी दिगर दुनिया में ब्लॉकचेन बेस्ड <coughs> और उन्होंने एक इनिशिएटिव स्टार्ट किया जो कि जिसमें वो ये कहते हैं कि आप डिजिटल आइडेंटिटी के सोल्यूशन बनाएं यूजिंग ब्लॉकचेन चेन तो हम ट्रस्टनेट पाकिस्तान उसमें इन्वॉल्व है और हम उनके साथ कोलेबरेटिवली काम कर रहे हैं वी विल बी गिविंग बैक नॉट ओनली टू बैक टू पाकिस्तान बट ऑल्सो टू द वर्ल्ड आई बिलीव देर इज समी एल्स ज्वाइनिंग इन सलमान have joined us 
All right, I'm just gonna add him. All right. Oops. Yeah, everything seems fine. Um, all right. So, uh, so while building these scalable solutions uh, that that will solve digital trust problems around COVID-19 in Pakistan, we want to make sure that we uh, we we protect the privacy of people and organizations and the data around them. And uh, all of this using the emerging technologies, because honestly speaking, building a solution like what we have in our minds right now is not possible with the traditional technology because it will end up with the integration hell, which means every other single um, organization have to build an in integration with another one. If you are a technical person or even a non-technical technical one, you would understand how complicated it is. It is that you have Imagine that you have to connect with Pakistan and with other organizations and with other organizations and with other organizations and with other organizations. So imagine the cost that would create and imagine the time that would it, it would take. So all of that can be solved. Um, I, I will tell you more in detail about it, what kind of solution we're talking about here uh, in a, on a more high level perspective. Uh, and all of this is going to be open sourced and licensed, uh, basically licensed on an open source license and uh, uh, hopefully we will be able to contribute something good back to the society and to the world uh, hopefully uh, so for that uh, there will be a teams and role framework uh, it means uh, that if you are if you want to contribute there is nothing that's going to stop you from contributing all you have to do is to be in that framework and that translates into that if you are a coder, UI UX designer, manager, health or government professional, you can help. You need to just decide what you want to be in this crisis and you have to pick your own role in this. So technically there are three different uh, categories which will be mainly involved. I know some people in, the, uh, in our uh, like sheet they they did they were not sure role so this might help you to figure out what you want to be here so we will have uh, some uh, contributors which are which could be any type of contributors like um, tech contributors design contributors any contributors any kind of like suggestion contributors you pick what you want and then leaders uh, coordination leaders tech leaders uh design re design leaders it's 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 all about kya mein zarurat kis kis cheez ki hai aur aap kahan kahan pe contribute kar sakte hain and then we will have co leaders because things are going to get bit bigger than uh we already have a, around 8 to 9 people uh, involved in this uh, right now jo ke interested hain is pe kaam karne mein so so the um so the teams will be divided into four sections right now which is the mobile team which will be working mainly on the mobile application solution then the front team which will be working on the front end uh, part of the solution and the back team which will be working on the back end solution and the rules team which will be working on the the governance framework and uh, how this translates into the real world because it's very difficult sometimes some technical solutions banate banate ye bhool jate hain ki inhone real world mein bhi implement hona so there are a lot of challenges in terms of uh, uh, in terms of actual uh, deployment in real world in re uh, real use case scenarios at the same time some healthcare challenges so that's why we need uh, domain experts and uh, in governance or health to to help us build uh, this solution actually that can be used so uh, i i hope we have some people like from health health experts and uh, and uh, already in the team and of course the uh, some people from the governance sector as well uh, and on the bottom layer, there is the coordination, which is the the backbone. Uh, I believe um, uh, Salman is leading our coordination right now, and Salman will be responsible for managing uh, the collaboration between all these teams. Uh, and and of course, he this seems like a very complicated job, and uh, I think he will be needing some co-leaders. So if you if any of you are interested in that, uh, please step up. So. Uh, because every other team is going to collaborate with every other team. So forget that 
you will be working in a silo. It's not going to happen like that. Okay. So, um, so on a higher level, what we are trying to build here is a, a tentative, the, the tentative architecture that we're working on is something like this. Um, there will be a consumer. I think, guys, wait a second. I think I'm having some, some noises here. Okay, I think it's better now. All right. Um, yeah. So, so on the bottom, on, on the middle top section, you see a consumer, which is uh, sort of like a mobile application. So this guy or person is going to have a mobile application that he's going to use to, to, to hold certain facts and information about himself. And on the left bottom side, you can see an institute. This institute is going to represent something like um, uh, a hospital, a government uh, agency, or something like that. So imagine an institute can issue you a digital certificate that, excuse me, that you as a consumer can hold and store on your mobile phone. And then later on, an organization can ask you to verify it, and then you can send it on, and it can be verified. So either ho ye rahe, ki koi bhi institute Pakistan mein kisi bhi bande ko ek digital certificate issue kar sakti hai, jo certificate sirf us bande ki malkiyat hoga, aur wo apne paas usse rakhega. Aur jab jab usse wo proof karna hoga, ke us certificate mein jo bhi information hai, kisi ko usne proof karni hai, to wo digitally usse proof kar sakta hai. It sounds very simple, right? But it's it's not as simple as it is because right now there is no way to do it digitally. If it was, you can open bank account from home. You cannot. You cannot. A lot of things you cannot do online. That's because there is no digital trust over internet. You don't trust everything on the internet. And that's, that's one of the biggest problems. And that's what it solves. For example, COVID-19 ka ek use case aapke saamne rakhta hoon. Imagine there is a, uh, jaysa hamne baat ki pre-COVID and post-COVID world hoogi. So imagine in a post-COVID world, uh, we will have a vaccination. So people will start getting vaccinated. Or ab jin loogon ko vaccination lag rhi hai, unho ne country se, uh, shahar se dousre shahar bhi jana hai. Let's say Karachi se flight leke Lahore jana hai. Ya, uh, U, ya Pakistan se US jana hai. So what they can do is, uh, government or a health institute or government institute or a health institute can issue them a digital certificate ke unko vaccination mil gai hai. and then they can uh, hold that in their phone and whenever they go whenever, whenever they're going to travel for airport per ya train station per kahi pe bhi wo kisi bhi uh, organization ke verifier ko wo apni, uh, apni vaccination prove kar sakte hain now what happens here is two things happen one you translate the digital, you, you translate the real world trust into the digital world. Because right now it can only be done by a paper. vaccination. Or that can be forged easily. Or low can he karte. Photoshop ho ga to maybe forge kar sakta. Asani se. Lekin agar isko ap digitally karna chahe, uh, matlab let's say set, uh, jo traditional systems hai uske through. So you will end up with an integration hell, which is like her institute, ko, her organization, ke saath, ek integration karni padegi. For example, um, let's say government institute uh, ye issue kar rahi hai, uh, let's say ye certificates issue kar rahi hai, logon ko. So digitally, her organization, let's say airports, train stations, uh, like jahan pe bhi aap travel kar you need to have an integration there in their system to actually make it work. But with blockchains, you don't need that. So, uh, wait a second, guys. Uh, wait a second, let me just. All right, sorry guys, there, is, there was some noises I had to. Uh, all right. Um, all right, so the tech stack, I think, uh, I think Shakib can can take over from here, and I can I can also, yeah, Shakib. Yes, G, G, I'm uh, here. Yeah, Shakib, can you please uh, take over from here, please? Okay, okay. So 
uh, as umar bhai has explained the tentative architecture of the whole uh, application and and the ecosystem that we will be building in uh, in the covid 19 uh, crisis so the okay umar bhai okay so so the tech stack will be uh, distributed in three parts like uh, where the platform and the whole blockchain will be deployed and what environment will be used for the development and what language and frameworks will be used uh, by the developers itself to develop the front end application and the website as well so isme uh, is tech stack dekhkar bhi jo log hame join kar rahe hain uske baad bhi wo apne aap ko is usme sort out kar sakte hain filter kar sakte hain क्योंकि टैक्स चेक के लिए हमने अभी डिसाइड नहीं की है हम ओपन हैं हम जो जिस तरीके का हमें डेवलपर्स जिस टैक्स टैक के स्किल्स हमें मिलेंगे तो उस हिसाब से भी हम कोप ऑफ शेप कर सकते हैं अपने आप को सो मैं एक एक करके एक्सप्लेन कर रहा हूँ सो प्लेटफॉर्म्स में जो जो क्लाउड सर्विसेस हम जो यूज कर रहे होंगे वो ए कर रहे होंगे और इसके अलावा अभी हम सर्च कर रहे हैं कि और हमारे पास और एफिशेंट क्लाउड प्लेटफॉर्म्स और कौन से हैं जो कि हमें कॉस्ट एफिशिएंट हो और रिसोर्स एफिशिएंट हो इसके अलावा हेरोकू भी डिप्लॉयमेंट के लिए और फॉर ओपन सोर्स कंट्रीब्यूशन एंड फॉर वर्जन कंट्रोलिंग वी विल बी वी आर वी हैवेंट डिसाइडेड येट बट देयर टू ऑप्शंस इन फ्रंट ऑफ इट गिटहब एंड गिट लैब सो इन इन द एनवायरमेंटल सेक्शन सो इन व्हिच एनवायरमेंट विल बी यूज्ड टू डेवलप द ऐप सो Uh, most of the uh, users are windows users so uh, linux user kam hai mac user bhi kam hai so logo ke pcs pe ja ke apple ledger ads ki uh, ka sdk deploy karna to that will be a major task also ki taaki sab development kar sake aur sab testing kar sake jo ki hamare development team mein shamil honge languages and frameworks mein uh, python javascript node node is for the backend uh, front end ka humne abhi nahi decide kiya website ke ki hum kya sir, kya use karenge we are open to options <coughs> and for uh, but for the mobile application we will using react native what uh, are you can change the slide uh, the tentative road map for this whole journey is uh, is is been distributed in three releases 0.1 0.2 and 0.3 so uh, the first is, the first step is a kick off step like uh, in the first step we will be setting up the environment setups uh, on the machines on the machines of the developers so that they will be they, they can start developing and they can start the process uh, we will be setting up the github repos we will be <coughs> set, uh, we will give the access access to the developers and to the co contributors and we will set up ci cd pipelines <coughs> and after that we will Uh, we will have a release 0.1 uh, the tentative timeline is 1 months and yeah it can stretch out or it can shrink depending upon the circumstances uh, umar bhai aap wo wali slide dikha sakte hain jisme explain kiya hua hai uh, in the ab ye hai ki 0.1 release mein hum log ye uh, features aur ye values hum end mein de, de sakte hain uh, 0.1 release mein hum log uh, ek aisa uh, basically hum log set up karte hain लोगों के मशीन्स पे एडीज और इंडी का एस के और एनवायरनमेंट और वो इशू कर उसकी जो ऑर्गेनाइजेशन के लिए और वो स्कीमा ऑर्गेनाइजेशन स्कीमा इशू कर सकती हो ओवर द ब्लॉक चेन सो इसकी वैल्यू जो हम एंड में प्रोवाइड करेंगे ऑर्गेनाइजेशन स्कीमा इशू कर सकती हो ऑर्गेनाइजेशन के सामने एक वर्किंग पोर्टल हो जो यूज कर सकती हो 0.2 रिलीज में हम लोग मोबाइल एप्लीकेशन अच्छा एक एक चीज हम भूल गए 0.1 रिलीज में 0.1 रिलीज में हम लोग कंज्यूमर के लिए भी फ्रंट एंड एप्लीकेशन इन द बाय द एंड रिलीज के एंड में हम लोग रेडी करने का प्लान किया है जिसमें सिर्फ फ्रंट एंड की एप्लीकेशन का फ्लो पूरा रेडी होगा और उसकी ब्लॉकचेन या बैक एंड से कनेक्शन नहीं होगा 0.2 रिलीज में हम लोग जो दोनों जो हमने स्ट्रक्चर्स खड़े किए उनमें सिक्योर कनेक्शन स्टैब्लिश करना है और और 0.2 रिलीज का जो वैल्यू हम जो एंड में प्रोवाइड करेंगे वो ये है कि ऑर्गेनाइजेशन इंस्टीट्यूट जब सर्टिफिकेट डिजिटल सर्टिफिकेट इशू करे तो वो जो कंज्यूमर है उसके मोबाइल में उसका वॉलेट जनरेट हो जाए और उसके मोबाइल में उस सर्टिफिकेट डिजिटल सर्टिफिकेट वो वहाँ पे उसकी आइडेंटिटी के अगेंस्ट वो स्टोर हो जाए वहाँ पे जो इसकी आखिरी जो रिलीज है इसके बाद वो इन सब चीजों को बेसिकली सम करना है और और ये है कि और वो आराम से वो वेरीफाई भी हो सके 
जो वेरीफायर होगा वो आराम से उसको चीज को रीडर क्रेडिशल को एंड में वेरीफाई कर सके सो आफ्टर जीरो पॉइंट थ्री रिलीज वी विल हैव सम काइंड ऑफ प्रूफ ऑफ कॉन्सेप्ट विच वी वी कैन एक्चुअली शो Thank you, Shakib. Um, I believe that covers the roadmap. Um, like Shakib ne kaha, uh, I know there's a lot of work aligned ahead of us, but and and based on um, uh, the people we have uh, in the community who have volunteered, I think uh, things might change a little bit. Like uh, the uh, the functionalities in release point one could some of them could be moved into point two or something. Um, besides that. overall jo road map hai that that would stay same which means that from point 1 to point 3 releases uh we will slowly build things one by one little by little uh, on top of each other and then uh by the end um we should reach a point where uh we have a proof of concept that can be showed to actually uh show a structure like this jahan par ek mobile app hai और कुछ वेब वेब एप्लीकेशंस हैं इन्वॉल्व एक वेब एप्लीकेशन इशुअर की रिप्रेजेंट कर रही है एक वेब एप्लीकेशन वेरीफायर को रिप्रेजेंट कर रही है और इशुअर जो है वो मोबाइल uh, ऐप को एक डिजिटल सर्टिफिकेट इशू करता है और वेरीफायर जो है वो सर्टिफिकेट वेरीफाई कर सकता है एंड ऑल ऑफ दिस हैपनिंग डिसेंटली ओवर ओवर अ ब्लॉक चेन स्ट्रक्चर सो सम वट दैट आई होप आपको कुछ हद तक समझ आया होगा कि हम करने की क्या कोशिश करें द मोर वी मूव फॉरवर्ड वी विल डिग डीपर uh and like i said um we're going to make it public hopefully in the next week so in next week i'm going to make a call uh for action to the people because right now maine isko socially abhi tak public karne ki koshish nahi ki all of you people who are who have joined us today have joined us via word of mouth or via our previous webinar we did so the moment we make it public uh and we start requesting people to join this initiative i ha i have high hopes ke hame aur log join karenge और तो बेसिकली वी विल अगेन हैव सम सॉर्ट ऑफ अ मोर डीपर रिविजन इन 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 फ्यूचर कॉल्स अबाउट लाइक हाउ एग्जैक्टली व्हाट वी आर गोना बिल्ड एंड व्हाट वी आर गोना बिल्ड अम ओके सो वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट थिंग्स वी आर ऑलमोस्ट इन द एंड सो लाइक आई सेड दिस पर्टिकुलर वीकली कॉल इज नॉट गोना बी दैट लॉन्ग सो बट होपफुली द थिंग इज के वी विल बी we will be doing some good work inshallah um one important thing that is every week we will have these weekly calls and we will discuss how much we are doing and what we are doing and of course different leads jo hain they will take uh, uh, uh they will take responsibilities to explain ke exactly unke under kya ho raha hai is waqt um and how is that gonna actually uh, turn out i will talk about that right now and that is all about self organization uh, hum ek uh, abhi bahut choti community hai aur uh, jo community initiative hai it has to be self organized which means har banda jo hai wo responsible hai apne actions ka aur apne kaam ka so if you are interested and if you want to contribute um you need to take responsibility for that it it you cannot slack off things in this because if you do other people can be affected by that so you need to be you need to take it bit seriously than you would take your uh, other things in my opinion um so just keep in mind when you sign up for this because you can actually help somebody think about it in this way that uh, at the end of the day uh, after few years when you will look back apni at your life you will you will see ke uh per second i think i have another person joining right now we are almost about to end though okay so um yeah so what i want to tell you guys is that imagine after 10 years when you will talk about this that there was covid 19 happening aur tum ghar mein baithe seasons dekh rahe the so just remember that time ke what did you do about that situation did you do something tumne kuch kiya tha तुम्हारे पास स्किल्स भी थे तुम तुम यंग भी थे तुम कुछ कर भी सकते थे लेकिन डिड यू डिड यू डू समथिंग अबाउट इट अब इस ये ये इस चीज का फैसला आप लोगों पे खुद पे है कि आप लोग क्या करते हैं डू यू वांट टू रिमेंबर इट एज के बस घर में लॉकडाउन होकर टाइम गुजारा था या फिर एक्चुअल में किसी इनिशिएटिव के साथ जुड़ के कुछ ऐसा काम किया था दैट 
that that helped somebody now there is a possibility i'm not i'm not going to lie to you guys there is a possibility that when we build something it might not fly as hopeful we are that it will fly so there is a possibility ke jo bhi hum banaye it, it it doesn't reach its true purpose and goal in that case in that case so technically the worst case possible agar wo hota hai to what do you get out of this you get a sense of achievement definitely some learnings about blockchain and collaborating with people and a, a pretty good team in my understanding of diverse backgrounds and then on top of that you get to say that you did something about it and eventually you have uh, it since all of this is going to be open sourced to aap jo bhi kaam input karenge isme from writing one line of document to designing one ui ux to to giving one piece of advice to anything you say in this video to actually writing any line of code all will be documented and then put open source for other people's to help so that in future if somebody needs any help they can use that and eventually you will have an online contribution that you can actually put into your portfolio ke aapne aapke paas ek online github contribution hai ya let's say um yeah something like that now um like i said this is a uh, it is very important that we self organize and it all happens from the top tier which means jitne bhi leads hain they need to self organize if they self organize the all the teams under them will automatically self uh, organize which means people who will be leading the mobile team front team back team rule team they need to self organize and then automatically self organizing the teams under them based on the framework we designed um and uh, for that you also need to get up to speed with a lot of things like i said watch that webinar we did there is a use case document hamare document mein top links mein ek use case document bhi hai i uh, that you need to see um i believe that could help you uh to understand what kind of use cases we are trying to tackle um and then about uh, yeah one important thing no one is your boss so aapko koi aapko koi control nahi kar raha is initiative mein you this is all based on what you want to do about all of this so you need to talk share and collaborate and be proactive so all of your efforts need to be in the directions where you want to help not slack off uh i have had some experiences so that's why i'm trying to put enforcing this again all right um few things you need to add yourself to the roll call i will show you the document for that soon uh link maine slides mein dal diya slides mein aap logon ke sath meeting ke baad share kar dunga so you can maybe go through them again uh all right or uh, leaders all of them need to start assembling their teams and sub teams based on that roll call i will actually maybe try to show you uh, the roll call uh, can you guys see my screen hello shakib yes aap uh, aapko yes. ye excel sheet nazar aa rahi hai ji ji aa rahi hai ye dikh rahi hai okay so the excel sheet is here all you have to do is to add your name your institute or organization your email your city zone so we can city or time zone taaki agar aap kisi aur country ya kisi aur shahar se hain to we can adjust times based on that um uh then which uh, particular sector you are interested in mobile front end back end rules i will highly appreciate agar aap wo sectors pick karenge jinme aapke already skills hain because if you don't you might end up doing more damage than work because you won't know what to do then other thing is all teams are going to collaborate with every other team so don't worry about ke you will miss out something mobile team front back or rules ke bagair perform nahi kar sakti front team mobile back or rule ke bagair kaam nahi kar sakti back team rules front or mobile ke bagair kaam nahi kar sakti aur rule teams baki ki teen teams ke bagair kaam nahi kar sakti so it will only get through agar hum sare collaboration mein kaam karenge so that's why i said collaboration leads have more responsibilities in this whole thing but you need to be um uh, very careful about what you get involved in because then there will be certain expectations from you in there ke aap kya kar sakte hain 
उस सेक्शन में और क्या करना चाहते हैं सो डोंट वरी अबाउट इफ यू हैव सम स्किल्स इन दैट एरिया और यू वॉन्ट टू डेवलप स्किल्स इन दैट एरिया गो हैड पिक दैट सेक्टर एंड ट्राई टू जम्प इन सो इफ यू डोंट वॉन्ट टू यू कैन जस्ट लीव इट एम टी डोंट पुट एन एक्स देर सो एंड इफ यू पुट अ कैपिटल एक्स इट मीन्स यू विल यू हैव मोर एक्सपीरियंस एंड यू वॉन्ट टू कलेबरेट मोर इन दैट एरिया and smaller x means that uh, you have less experience and you want to collaborate less in that area all right but but like i said uh, even if you don't put an x in mobile let's say you still have to collaborate because if you build a front end you need to talk to the mobile guy uh, eventually all right um, having said that um code of conduct very important maine aaj hi code of conduct upload kiya um it's very important for all of us to behave respectfully and of course uh, make sure that we understand each other's viewpoints and experiences and we don't use any kind of inclusive language and uh, cr constructive criticism is always fine and arguments happen you need to disagree because if you don't disagree with people you cannot improve so that's fine but there are uh, there is a there is a there's a line between insulting somebody and uh, having a disagreement with somebody so it's very important that uh, uh, you read the code of conduct and see uh, what kind of uh, behavior is okay in a community like this so please take your time i have sent you a link on the whatsapp as well um all right uh, so and like i said i will give you the uh, the slides in the end of this session um so we do have a lot of challenges right now uh टीम मैनेजमेंट इशूज टीम कोऑर्डिनेशन इशूज वर्किंग आवर एम्बिक्यूटीज बिकॉज हर बंदा अपने टाइम के हिसाब से काम करेगा कॉम्पिटेंसीज इशूज वो विल फाइंड आउट सोन अबाउट दैट कि हमारे पास किस किस किस्म के बंदे हैं और टेक इन्वायरमेंट लोकल क्लाउड कॉस्ट सो द फर्स्ट स्टेप जहाँ तक कॉस्ट की बात है आई थिंक आई कैन कवर इट्स इट्स आई हैव स्टार्ट द इनिशियटिव एंड आई एम नॉट टेकिंग एनी मनी फ्रॉम एनी बडी एट राइट नाउ एंड आई डोंट इंटेंड टू so what i'm going to do is i'm going to uh, try to sponsor it as myself as much as i can and if later on we need more uh, expensive that i cannot bear then we'll see what to do but right now i think everything is under control uh, with that um so uh, talking about actions first thing i would all uh, i would like to I, i would like you to do first is um the add yourself to the roll call document all right uh, so that we can figure out how the teams are going to be formed अंडर द द रोल फ्रेमवर्क अगर आपको श्योर नहीं है कि आप कहाँ पर जाना चाहते हैं एग्जैक्टली तो यू नीड टू मे बी वेट सेकेंड क्या यू नीड टू एक्चुअली टॉक टू द टॉक टू योर पीयर्स डिस्कस बेस्ड ऑन योर करंट स्किल्स बेस्ड ऑन द स्किल्स यू हैव इन लाइक यू वॉन्ट टू हैव so maybe you can make a some sort of decision maybe spend some time in one team and see if it works for you and uh, then uh, move to another one because like i said you don't have a boss it's it's a it's a collect, collective uh, initiative and you have the responsibility if you want to do something here um i guess i will share the link with you guys as well later on uh, after this call um like i guess that would be all for this week um and what's going to happen from now is that um, we will have these kind of calls every week in some calls maybe we will demo things ke hum kya kar rahe hain kis kisam ki updates aa rahi hain kya challenges aa rahe hain kya issues hain kyunki dusre log bhi contribute kar sake par usme maybe somebody would have a better suggestion for that and then uh, so we will have these weekly calls saturday 9 pm every every night and then every week i mean uh and then besides that throughout the week the collaboration and the work that depends on the team leaders and the team creation so like i said um aap jab excel mein apna in apne preferences dalenge so the team uh, the team leaders can actually talk to you and then collaborate and the coordination manager can maybe make sure ke uh, coordination lead can make sure that uh, uh, people are getting coordinated accordingly and uh, जो है बिकॉज वी नीड टू किक ऑफ स्टार्ट थिंग्स सो इफ यू आर इन द कोड लाइक टेक्निकल सो इफ यू आर इन द इन द टेक्निकल पार्ट ऑफ द थिंग्स देन मे बी यू कैन सेट अप द एनवायरमेंट्स एंड यू नो गेट रेडी फॉर थिंग्स बिफोर वी गो पब्लिक एंड 
uh, if you are in the non-technical part, then maybe you can have a discussion in a week and see, okay, maybe understand the problems. Talk to me, talk to Shakib, talk to Salman, um, talk to each other, um, have other meetings, be more reactive. One more thing, um, a request. I understand aap log slack use nahi karte. Aap mein se koi bhi banda slack use nahi karta. Sivai, I think ek bande ke beech mein se. But uh, um, I highly recommend ki apne apne computers pe slack install karein. Aur usko chala dein. Aur usko chalta rehne dein. Usko band na karein. That would help it ke agar aapko reach karna hai. To we can reach you via the slack. Because WhatsApp thoda sa unprofessional or informal way of communication hai. Aapke family members, friends, sare WhatsApp pe hoote hain. So I was, um, I, it was majburi ke tahat maine WhatsApp pe uh, initiative ko in, uh, start kiya because I was not uh, getting enough traffic on my Slack channel. Theek hai. So please um, uh, take your take your time, think about things and uh, do what you feel is necessary. I believe that would be all. Now, if there are any questions right now, I will be happy to take. I can 